<laughs> Hello everyone, it's Francis with your book of memories. I've got another project share. Check it out. Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this quick project share. And if you're new here, thank you so much for watching. It's a pleasure to have you here with us. I do want to quickly share my memory box album. I do already have a tutorial available on my website. I'll go ahead and leave it as a link down below for you. Of course, this time I am using different paper. In Bloom, Paper Studio, Hobby Lobby paper. Okay, unbelievable paper line. It's got like a rose gold foil accents throughout. And I just had an absolute blast. Of course, it's total chipboard books like all my all the rest of my books that I make and there's a slight obsession with this trippy iridescent paper thank you Suzanne again <laughs> I couldn't have couldn't have made this book without you and I mean come on the shaker element the acetate the foil I just it's an obsession and I think I honestly do have a problem okay so um <laughs> So for everyone new, I am an art instructor specified in these mini album, handmade scrapbooks, boxes and such. I have over 1900 amazing students and a Facebook group full of 460 or more of them interacting and sharing their projects together. If you're curious to see my online video classes, after this walkthrough, I'll be playing a tutorial trailer for you. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. I wanna show you that you too can make this book as wild as it seems open this right up and it's just a bingo all the way around okay it's a deconstructed styled album and of course you can use any paper that you'd like and don't be intimidating because step-by-step -step process the willingness to try and you will absolutely surprise yourself so you see these little elements just come right out okay this is a in your hand waterfall a four by four waterfall okay beautiful I decided to put the stamps down on this area and totally forgot to put them on here, but you know what? Totally go there, okay? <laughs> and we've got this cute little, yep, you guessed it, check this out. It is so cute. This is a little belly band that comes off. And you've got yourself an accordion little <laughs> dilio here. <laughs> it's so cute. This just goes right back on to keep it closed. And then we've got a little flip book right here. Just added a couple elements, fussy cut them out of the paper. It doesn't get more simple than this. And you also have picture space on the back as well. So we're maximizing the picture space by having an element that you can turn around and you can see the back. So I've shortened that little tag in the tutorial, of course, always, always put your own twist on it. Okay, so this is like a floating tag shaped pocket with the photo space on the back, which is really nice. And you add your own little journaling lines to it. I just love it. Okay, totally customizable. This is a floating five by seven. Of course, this paper comes out so you can place a photo on there or you can just slip it right inside. I love the way we fussy cut around this. That is just so fun, okay? And look at that. <laughs> it just doesn't get more fun than this. This is the biggest element in this little memory box here. I love the construction. It's a blast to make. You will absolutely blow your mind and anyone else, they, don't even, they won't even know where you even got this after you're done with it. They're going to say, you bought that out of store. And you're going to say, no, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. As you notice, I open this one different from my other one. Now we can close and customize how we open and close things. And it changes the whole look of it. Okay, and I'll show you that right now. Got some 4 by 6 photo mats right here. This holds about 65 to 70 photographs. Beautifully. See, I can layer this guy this way. Or I can layer him that way. I can go this route. Or I can go this route. Okay, totally changes the look. This, I think, is one of my favorite elements right here. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, yep, that's a magnetic closure. You can fit a couple little fun things in there. And I fussy cut around this as well. I had so much fun. This I kept craft. And I just went with my chalk marker. Even without the chalk marker, it looked fantastic. I doodled on the back because I knew I'd be able to see it on the other side. Just with the journaling pen. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just in love with this whole plastic thing. Like I said, I have an issue. Okay, so <laughs> moving on, we got a floating file, fo uh, floating pocket right here, if I can speak properly. <laughs> As you can see, I'm really excited to show you this. If you guys are on Instagram or on Facebook, I post 
sneak peek pictures and coupons every single month. Okay, so you can get your hands on that because that would be a lot of fun for you. Especially if you're doubting your first class. Okay, fear not. This is something you can do. You follow the steps, you follow your heart, and before you know it, <laughs> you've got some art. Okay. I don't know, that just came out, okay? That, that was ridiculous, I know. Okay, here we have that. I love the angle pocket on that and how it sprawls that way. It just, it's so fun, okay? This is unbelievable. Okay, I know my camera stamps are upside down. You can go like this. It's all about the photo in there, but the camera stamps are a nice way to indicate to a person where to place the photo or if you're at a craft fair, craft event, and things of the sort, okay? Excellent. Now, the way that we layer these back in, is completely entirely your choice. And no matter what you do, it's gonna look fantastic. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'm going to leave the class trailer playing at the end of this video. And I am just so honored to be here with you. And I will be back to share a new project very soon. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hello my friend, and thank you again so much for joining me. Welcome to the Memory Box tutorial. It's a deconstructed styled album, and I'm just absolutely ecstatic to be here with you, as well as my Fisker's paper trimmer. Okay, so the Martha Stewart scoreboard you can find on Amazon, as well as this, a fantastic ruler from the Dollar Tree. You can see right through it. We also will need some base cardstock. So I like to use heavyweight cardstock. So right here I have three pieces of 12 by 12. And then we've got some florals. Look how brilliant this is. So this is just out of my stash. As you can see, there's so many different little things in here. Now adhesive is just really an individual choice. Now we can use any glue that makes us happy because that's really what it's about. And as you can see, this is horizontal and this comes down at an angle right here. So let's go ahead and get an eight and a half by 11 piece, long ways of vertical at three and a half. And then there we have it. But the accordion long B piece is located at the top, lined up at 11. Let's score first at three and a half. I'm gonna be sticking the tape on this side. So I'm gonna be on the mountain side of the score tape, not in the valley, but on the mountain side for every single one of these pieces. starting from the outside going in toward the corner. And then the next piece is for the waterfall, which is four by four. You can use this little scrap piece. Score mark that is closest this way, this one. And I'm sticking him at the edge of this one in the open pose. I'm going to pull this way just a little bit. So he's gonna be hanging off just slightly. And then there's one piece, three and a half by six and three quarters we need. So as a little reminder, I'm just gonna go like that. Eighth of an inch border, top, bottom, left. And then for this file pocket insert, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these on. Just gonna go ahead and evenly press that on there, which are three pieces, one and five eighths by three and a half. Okay, 